babies and welcome back to my channel if you're new here go ahead and hit the red subscribe button and join the bricky baby gang because the bricky babies are lit we have fun and if you subscribe you're gonna have some fun too so as you guys can tell from that title today we are doing a fun video a little different from my other reset videos long story short your girl needs to get her life together i need to get back on track i need to prepare for 2024 because time is flying by so i am going to be doing a life reset with you guys this is going to be pretty much similar to my other reset videos except we're going to be taking some steps to prepare ourselves for the last month of this year and getting ready to go into 2024 i'm super excited to share this video with you guys because I kind of have a lot of things that I want to do this week in particular because as you guys know Thanksgiving is next weekend and then after Thanksgiving we go into December and that is vlogmas time and with vlogmas we know regardless if you're posting every day every other day a couple times a week or once a week it is extremely busy there's Christmas parties there's shopping there's decorating spending time with family working it's just a whole lot and preparing for the new year so yeah that's what we're going to be doing in this video i'm going to go into detail more and more as the days go on as you guys saw in the beginning of the video i went and got my nails done yesterday they are so cute and if you're not new here i know you guys are thinking like there is no way brooke has short nails yes y'all i went short okay let me tell you why real quick before we really get into this video so with this life reset and getting myself back together i just wanted something different i just wanted something new and sometimes with new things it could be uncomfortable and then sometimes new things just motivate you and make you feel different and make you feel brand new and make you feel more like you're that girl so i was like i don't know i think i want to try like short nails just do like that classic pretty white i keep my toes white year round so i was like you know what let me just try white nails see how long i can last and i think i'm gonna have this look until the end of the year i love how it looks on other girls i've tried it before and i didn't like it but with my nail tech that i have here in this new location where i live she is fire and when i say she got the shape down to the t let me show y'all hopefully you can see but she nailed it and she's like who is this girl and i was like girl i'm gonna be a new woman for the end of the year but yeah that's part of my self-care portion even though sometimes getting your nails done it just feels more of a job than self-care but i do like the end results regardless if they're short or long so yeah now i'm at Publix because i'm picking up some groceries your girl is gonna meal prep tonight that way i can get back on track i gotta stop eating out i gotta stop door dashing i'm making them rich i'm literally one of their vip members but I need to get back to cooking. I need to get back to putting good foods in my body. I gotta let the fries go, the burgers go, the hot wings go, the fried rice. I just have to get myself together, get my life together, get myself back on track. There's that. I'm about to go ahead and do the little text thing, let them know that I'm here. And once we get back to the house, we'll do a quick grocery haul and then your girl is gonna start cooking. Hello. Yes, you've been right here. How are you today? I'm good, thank you. Why do you want to talk to the CEO? I'm not the talk to the CEO of that. <laughs> I don't like that. <laughs> 
Thank you. Have a good night. You too. Publix needs to get their life together. Because why these people can't take tips? They got to come out here in this weather, whether it's hot, cold, rainy, and we can't tip them. I don't like that. I'm going to call them and say, you need to do a life reset and a reality check. All right, baby, so we are home. Your girl is about to go ahead and hop into cooking. I'm gonna turn me on some music. I am going to be making some baked chicken thighs, barbecue, barbecue, baked chicken thighs, green beans, and some homemade mashed potatoes. I'm super excited. This is a pretty easy meal. I'll try to maybe like pop up on the screen how to cook it. Maybe, it just depends, but if not, I'll put it in the description box just in case y'all wanna try it out and cook it like me. I did that in one of my routine videos. It was my fall night routine. I did the chili recipe and a lot of you tried it out and said that you really enjoyed it. So I'm gonna put that in the description box and maybe pop it up across the screen. But yeah, let's go ahead and get to cooking. And is it really a video with Brooke Kennedy if I don't turn on some music and vibe out a little bit? I don't think so. Let's get it. Time to cook. But you should have known this. If it ain't still a black, take it back. cooking I have the chicken in the oven the green beans are on the stove and the potatoes are boiling in the pot I'm gonna go ahead and work on my office because I don't want to go too far away from the kitchen I'm just one of those that don't like to be too far away but I really need to declutter and get some of this stuff out of my office one so I can be motivated to actually go ahead and get it decorated and set up and start back working in here and Two, it just does not need to look like this. You know what I'm saying? It's just becoming like more of a forever or constant storage area versus, yeah, when I go shopping and I buy decor stuff, I do store it in here just for a little bit until I put it out. But there's just some stuff in here that don't need to be up in here. So let me show y'all what we're working with and then I'm gonna just organize it because I have a picture in it. Let me just show y'all, let me just show you. This desk I am getting rid of completely. I'm gonna get a new desk. This whole room is gonna be decorated. Let me back up some so y'all can just see. This is the office of our home. Um, so over here is new Christmas decor. I'm probably gonna keep the Christmas decor in here, but for a second, I may just pull it out um, until I can get everything organized. This picture is gonna go upstairs. I think I might put that in my beauty room. I'm not sure yet. This is a couple stuff that I ordered a while back. Some of it is trash. Some of it needs to go upstairs. I know that's all my work stuff. So nothing pretty much is gonna get touched up here. That's gonna get put in the storage box. And then over here, it's just like fall decor stuff that I didn't use. And then I have a teddy bear over here that I got for um, Valentine's Day. I don't even know what's all in that box, but we gotta get it together. And then right here is just all of the Christmas decor stuff from last year that we brought down this past weekend. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and drag this stuff out, go through this, and see how much we can get done before the food is ready. Oh. 
sweating like I am sweating so bad under this sweater but I am done for tonight I ooh, look at the Christmas tree it's so pretty back there um the room looks so much better it's like a fresh breath of air girl it looks so much better and it's crazy how you can put stuff off for so long and then it's like once you get that push or that motivation to go ahead and knock it out it doesn't take you long this literally this took me like 30 minutes and I had to stop and go check on the food and do the sides and stuff. But y'all, it looks so much better. So let me show y'all. Here's the room. Looks way, way better. Like it's basically clear. If I didn't have this Christmas stuff in here, it would look super, super empty. It now has an echo again, which is crazy. So that's all Christmas stuff. Once we decorate for Christmas, that will be gone. Um, all of the bins and stuff will go back up in the storage or in the garage because mm -mm. um, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with this mirror I think I may put it in one of the guest rooms this right here is a extra bar stool because these are at my counter but they come in a set of four I don't know what I'm gonna do with that bar stool but we'll figure that portion out later but yeah this is it and then right here I pretty much have everything organized this right here is some stuff for my master bedroom that is all of the fall stuff that right there is just stuff I'm going to take up to my beauty room. It was like my face steamer was down here. Um, I had some of my mop slippers. I'm going to put those in the laundry room. Girl, I got a whole lot of stuff. And then all of that is trash. Teddy bear is going to go upstairs in my beauty room closet. Probably put it at the top. want to hold on to that for now. And then right here, this is going to go upstairs in my beauty room. I may put that picture in the guest bathroom. It's giving tropical and it's something simple and cute. So I may put that in the guest bathroom but yeah i feel so much better already i'm tired i'm hot and i'm sweaty but it's because i had a late start i started cooking at 6 40 it's 8 30 but i had to run and get the groceries if i already had the groceries in i would have probably been done cooking by seven o'clock because i get off at 5 30 neither here nor there doesn't matter it's done i'm about to shower i will see you guys tomorrow Smoking the sky, this shit's gonna hit like it's cracking it. The boy got drunk and sleep it, talk like a crack at it. Two ass just for the TikTok, niggas, put that in. Back at it. Good morning, Brookie Babies. A official good morning. I know I checked in earlier. I think I did. I was telling y'all that I was getting ready to hit the gym. Your girl is 
feeling good, feeling energized, you know today is gonna be a good day because I went to the gym. So that means I have energy, which means I will be motivated to get more things done around this house and getting my together. But y'all, honestly, it feels really, really good to be back in the gym. Y'all know I was going really, really, really hard for like, what was that, four months, four or five months straight? Yeah, cause I look good when we went to Jamaica. I look good when I went to Cabo. I was looking at this picture the other day and I'm like, why my friends and family, well, they did, they did. I'm like, why they didn't tell me I was getting fat, fat though? They was trying to be nice about it, but your girl really was packing on some weight, y'all. Look at me. This is my birthday. Look at that. Girl, you are juicy. I mean, I would have liked to keep the booty. I still got it, but why y'all ain't tell me that I was getting thick like that? Why y'all ain't tell me I was getting thick like that? Look at me now. I'm so much smaller. That is crazy. But when I get on the scale, I'm the same weight, which is kind of weird. But that's why they tell you don't get on the scale. But overall, I'm just happy to be back in the gym. I do encourage you guys to go to the gym. Being a 5 a.m. girly is not easy. But if I don't make it in the morning, I can go in the evening. I'm going to go in the evening. You do not have to be a 5 a.m. girly. You do not have to fit this certain aesthetics. Don't feel like you have to do that. Now, I'm not going to lie. Being a 5 a.m. girly is lit because... You get it out the way, you can do other stuff, you can work if you don't work full-time influencer. You can knock out everything throughout the day. And think about it, if you don't have a nine to five and you only do YouTube, you low-key can be a 5 a.m. girly because you can take a nap when you get back home, you can go to sleep. You can go to the gym, come back, take a shower, eat, and go lay down. I know I would, that's what I'm gonna do. But it, honestly, it does not matter. I'm at a point now where Fitness is more than me just looking good. I want to take care of myself because I'm getting older. So, we back in the gym. We're going to try to go tomorrow morning. If we don't, it's okay. Baby steps. I usually don't go on Fridays. I like to go like Monday. Well, before my birthday, I was doing Monday, Tuesday. I would skip Wednesday to give myself a break and I would do Thursday and Friday. I'm probably not going tomorrow. Probably not going tomorrow though. But anyway, on to my morning routine. By the way, I am filming in a new setting. So hopefully it looks good. Hopefully when I go back and edit this footage, I don't want to scream and tear this camera apart. But we'll just see. I'm trying a new setting on my G7X. So I'm going to go ahead and make my tea. I'm trying to get back consistent with drinking this every morning. I usually have a cup probably five days out of the week. Y'all know I love the Bigelow brand. This is the one right here. This is the one that I've been drinking lately. It's the lemon ginger herbal tea plus probiotic supports healthy digestion. Need that. And then I decided to pick up this one at Publix. This is the Yogi Sweet Tangerine Positive Energy. It supports elevated mood and energy levels. This one does have caffeine in it, but I feel like I will be okay. So I'm gonna try this one out right here. I'm gonna put that in today with my lemon and ginger. And then I also add in some honey from Publix or Walmart, just anywhere, some honey. And then I go in with my Vital Proteins Beauty Collagen. I've been drinking this forever. I used to use the Dose and Company. I think that's the one. And I like that one too, but I don't know. I just feel like I get better results with this one. So. Let's make this tea, baby. And add in our lemon and ginger. Mm hmm. Take this cure. y'all so i have my tea i'm about to go ahead and make me some breakfast i'm probably gonna do a fried egg with bacon on toast 
I don't know. I've just been wanting that since I woke up this morning. And then I will check in with you guys. Maybe on my lunch break, I'll start on my beauty room. If not, I will see y'all this evening when I get off of work. Drink your tea, babies. Take care of that body from the inside out. So it's a whole lot of time later and I'm upstairs. It's like 6.46. I got off of work. I ran to Hobby Lobby because of course Christmas time is coming up. So I was looking for some other stuff, but I'm in this beauty room about to turn the light on and we're about to get it done. We're going to get as much done as we can today. I'm going to show you guys a before. If you're not new here, then you have seen this room plenty of times and it looks a hot mess, but it's okay. It's okay. I'm here now. I'm going to get it done. And yeah, I'm going to get it done. Sometimes things do fall behind, but we just don't want to get stuck there forever. And I feel like I've been stuck here for too long, just letting this pile up the way it has and it's not okay. So I'm gonna get it together. Let me show y'all what we're working with though. I really, really need my butt whoop, but it's okay. It's okay. It's, it's gonna be okay. We have no choice, but to get it done, I think what we're gonna do is take everything out of here one by one i'm gonna start with this luggage get this out of here those clothes over there that y'all see all of that needs to go to goodwill um yeah this picture i told y'all last night i want to hang it up in here i'm not even finna go through all that let's just let's just tap in and get this done you ready yeah right songs for my dogs for my squad for my heart how we want babies look what we have here oh my goodness it looks so much better i cannot believe i did all of this tonight it took me about i would say right at two hours or hour and a half i took everything out of these boxes except this one because this one is the one no not this one that one is the one with all of the makeup products i didn't take that out because i need to go through it declutter it probably gonna do a giveaway that's some of Kevin's stuff right there. I'm going to put that in the storage bin, put it in the attic. 
those are all of my purses and bags um let's see let's see let's see over here just let me know what y'all do with stuff like this this is all my summer clothes should i put them in the attic or i don't have room in a closet well once i get the other guest rooms i don't know i just i don't know i don't know let me know what y'all do with stuff like that right here is more summer clothes that i did not wear on my vacation trips like sets dresses stuff like that um and here is winter clothes it's a whole it's a whole haul of winter clothes that I did not wear from last year. I know, I know. Um, over here is just like my equipment, my tripods, stuff like that. Here is basically stuff that I need. I just got to get the room set up so I can decide where it's going to go because I didn't really organize the drawers. And then right here is just a whole bunch of home decor stuff that I may be keeping or I may not keep. But I need to decorate all the rooms and my office before I get rid of this stuff. Because I may can use it, spray paint it. You know how I do. So I don't want to get rid of that yet. Now, finally, I can put the suitcases in the closet. I was hoping that I would be able to put the summer stuff in here. But I think once I clear out the closets in the guest rooms... Our luggage can go in there or our luggage can go in the laundry room. I can probably set that up really neat. I don't know. Or it can go in our storage room downstairs. I don't know. I don't know. But if this goes in the guest rooms, that will go in there. Yeah, you guys, that is the final product. It looks amazing. It looks better. It doesn't look amazing because the room is not set up yet, but it looks so much better. It feels so much better. Thank you, Jesus. November 17th girl Thanksgiving is next weekend not next weekend next Thursday y'all that is absolutely crazy it's crazy and like I mentioned in the beginning of the video right after that we have vlogmas and then New Year's Thanksgiving vlogmas Christmas New Year's that is insane but anyways, it's another day of me getting my crap together. This morning, I got up and I started a load of clothes because I'm trying to do my best to stay like consistent with keeping the house in order. Y'all know if you've been here a while as well. Y'all know that is one of my weakness, okay? I just hate doing laundry. My husband usually do it, but he ain't here. So your girl, Ruth Kennedy, gotta do it. So I started me two loads i only had three loads because it's just me and all of them are finished except the whites i haven't put the whites in yet but i'll probably do that in the morning and then i also wash my wig y'all it feels so good it feels so clean and it smells so good i didn't really like lay my lace like i normally do so if you see my lace girl just don't worry about it but i washed my wig and i don't know what made me want to try the done dish detergent y'all know i just started using that probably like a month ago when did i do that clean with me two weeks ago and i started it a month before that so a month and a half ago whatever but anyways i was like okay everybody know done dish detergent you can use that for everything so i was like it won't hurt Girl, I got some hot water. I soaked the wig in a bowl with the Dawn dish detergent and let it sit for like 15 minutes. When I tell you, I feel like it pulled all the oils, all the dirt. The water was so 
dirty but trust me try it like your hair is gonna smell so good it looks so good i feel like it's even more shiny of course after i rinse that out i use my regular shampoo and stuff but i don't know i just felt like it worked amazing for your girl but yeah that's pretty much all i have done so far today um i did book me a lash appointment on yesterday i don't think i told y'all that i'm going to get my lashes done tomorrow at 12. i'm gonna to try to get up and go get my feet done as well so tomorrow is going to be more of like a self-care kind of like pamper myself picking back up from getting my nails done um you know just staying on top of doing what makes me feel good doing what makes me feel like i look good or enhances my beauty let's say that because we don't need our nails done we don't need lashes we don't need all of these things to know that we're beautiful but it enhances our beauty and it makes us feel feminine and it makes us feel like we're in our soft girl era or we're that girl or uh, we're that elevated grown woman y'all know all the different eras that's what it makes us feel like or it just makes you feel like who you are it makes me feel like i'm brooke kennedy that girl <laughs> so what i'm doing tonight you guys i feel like there's something else i have to tell you but if it comes to my mind it comes to my mind tonight i am going to work on creating me a new vision board so i created one in the beginning of this year i wanted to remake me another one or kind of like narrow this one down because this one is more of like a bigger screen like it, it would fit perfect on like my desktop i want to make one that's going to go on my phone like my screen saver so i can have it to look at for the rest of the year because i just want to set small goals or they can be big goals too but i just want to set super realistic goals that i can accomplish before the end of the year or if it's a goal that I don't feel like I can accomplish before the end of the year, it is something that I can continue to work towards and hit in next year. And also, after I make my vision board, I'm going to write down some goals, some content ideas, and I'm probably going to write down three prayers. Oh, let me show y'all the vision board. All right, so hopefully y'all can see this pretty, pretty good. Um, right here, this is like my favorite number combination. I always see 444. Four, four. I just feel like every time I see this, it's a reminder from God that he's always with me, that good things are coming my way. Um, so these are like things right here. These for sure are going to go on like my mini vision board. And I'm honestly just going to take some of the photos from here and put them onto like a template that is the size of the iPhone screensaver. But yeah, so... I am definitely want to continue to build a relationship with God, continue to be close with him. This right here is just like self-care stuff. I want to continue to take care of myself. This is like the area that I am the most proud of, y'all. When I say this year is the year where I actually stayed the most consistent in the gym that I have ever done before since my high school days when I played sports. Like I did really, really good this year and I actually saw like a transformation in my body. So this right here is gonna always continue to be on my vision board because I want this to be a lifetime goal. This right here needs to go on there because it's never too late. I have a thousand ideas in my head, but I cannot get to owning or creating a business other than my YouTube, which I'm very proud of. I need to decide what it is that I want to do. Over here, this just reads, so happy I'm 30. A girl turned 30 this year. Had an amazing, blessed birthday. Pretty much travel stuff. I probably won't put that on there. Um, just because I don't really think I'm going to travel in December. I'm going to be so busy with other stuff. I might. It just depends. But that's not going to be my main focus. I will work on locations i want to go to when i'm making my 2024 vision board and then i probably will put this on here because i do need to work on my closet y'all know that we declutter i want to continue to work on spaces in the house and yeah sponsorships this is what that stands for contracts continue to vlog and show up for myself and that's pretty much it i like to make something that's realistic and i love to pray manifest do the work little progress every day adds up so yeah but y'all i really really do love this vision board it was so cute when i first made it i was just so in love and i'm still in love just reflecting back and looking at it 
And so I'm gonna go ahead and make a new one. And I will prop you guys up and let y'all see what I'm doing. And then you all will see the final product. Another one. Alright y'all, so hopefully y'all can see this. This is the finish vision board for the rest of the year. Just a couple photos on there. Basically, it's wrapped around health, fitness, um, faith, business planning, and um, some organization around the house. And then just like a little cheers to a successful end of the year and just cheers to a great year so far it's been some ups and some downs but 2023 has been good and i'm just praying that it's gonna be good for the rest of the year so yeah this is my little cute vision board that's gonna go on my screensaver so i am basically done for tonight everything that i pretty much wanted to work on um i am feeling so good the vision board looks amazing on my phone screen praying that it keeps me motivated i just love that and then also y'all i went ahead and wrote down some of my goals i wrote down some content ideas and i wrote down my daily prayers I'm about to i think i'm about to pour me up some wine i need to put that on my uh vision board to stop drinking wine I'm like girl but I love me some Stella Black, so I'm about to pour me up a glass, get on that couch, start editing this video you guys are watching. Watch me a movie, and yeah, I'm going to see y'all tomorrow in the club with my twin. We be vibing. Classic. But you know we be out. I just, y'all know why I did this, right? I just wanted to see my nails. Oh, speaking of my nail, look. Girl. Girl. And who ain't? And who ain't gonna go get it fixed tomorrow? I am. Yes, ma'am. I did that yesterday, being ghetto, opening up the boxes, trying to, girl, being ghetto, using my freaking nail as a knife to open up all them boxes upstairs and chip the paint like crazy. But it's okay. I'm gonna get them fixed tomorrow when I get this pedicure because my feet is looking like <sighs> Tarzan's. When they say she get it from her mama, mama say you fuck her right. Saturday girl it is November 18th and it's 5 35 it feels so much later y'all because it gets dark early but this morning your girl got up around 8 o'clock I left the house by 9 15 I went by Target because I had to pick up an order and then I went and got my feet done feel amazing my guy is so good and he's so sweet you guys he knows that I'm gonna film every now and then when I come in there well usually it's like every time um and he was like you didn't you don't want to catch this with your camera it was just so cute i can't remember exactly what he said but it's just like the small things he respects the grind and i respect him 
and I appreciate his service every time. He does an amazing job and he's so sweet. He has the best customer service. And that was just something so small that kind of made my day because it's like, wow, you really supporting what I do because sometimes people are not comfortable with that or they can just be mean about it. I don't know, but it was just really, really sweet. So I did that and then I went by my girl, Maisha, got my lashes done, okay? Mm-hmm. Them curtains for the eyelashes or them curtains for them eyes, they back. Uh-huh, I'm gonna feel like that girl with and without makeup. And then what else did I do? What else did I do? I think that was it as far as being outside the house. When I got back home, I started editing this vlog that you guys are watching and then I did my makeup, put myself together because I am feeling good. Your girl was productive this week. I got a lot of stuff done. I've been in the gym. I've been drinking my water. I've been taking my vitamins. I done made me a vision board. I'm in my YouTube bag. I'm feeling good. I'm happy. Girl, life is good. Life is good. God is good. And I'm blessed. So I can't complain. And at this point, I don't want to complain for the rest of the year. I'm going to try to make that one of my goals. To not complain about things that I definitely cannot control. I think that may be one of my goals. I don't know, girl, tomorrow I'll be complaining about how tired I am and I don't want to go to work on Monday. But whatever, it is what it is. I'm just going to keep it real. We try. And that's the point of this video. I hope it really inspired you guys to just get up and try again. Get up and get your shit done, okay? Get your life together. Be productive. I hope it's something that you guys can take away from this video, whether that's getting back in the gym, girl drinking your water taking your vitamins decluttering your space so you can declutter your mind just do something for your mental do something for you do what makes you happy i always tell y'all that but i really hope it is something that you guys can take away from this video now you see me working well y'all don't see me but y'all should they love to hit me up this phone do not be ringing like that until i pick up this camera i feel like they be knowing but with that being said, y'all, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please make sure to give your girl a thumbs up. Leave me a comment, share the video, and don't forget to hit that red subscribe button. Okay, join the Brookie Baby gang because the Brookie Babies are lit. We have fun. And if you subscribe, you're going to have some fun too. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you in my next one, Brookie Baby. Y'all ready? Brookie Babies. Peace. I love you guys. What if I had a booger in my nose and my head all tilted? Girl, I love y'all. See you in the next one.